you know, I saw, I met with some wonderful Brazilian friends and wonderful like Iranian friends and Turkish friends and Europeans, Latin Americans, like, you know, locals and, and different people, but they had their own groups and, mm. and, and parties together. And what I want to do is bring them all together because that was my style already in terms of you know the music what i do oh you're already doing like a, like kind of fun or connect for connecting the all, all international exactly. people exactly hello everybody welcome to founders connect today i have an amazing guest again and my all guest is amazing but this guy is totally different because of him i share it <laughs> and his name is i could but we know him dj i could dj I could. welcome to founders connect man Glad to be here. How are you? I'm good. So your original name is Aiko too, right? That is correct. You didn't name after me. <laughs> we, we share the names. I came here before you. Though. I know. That's so funny. By the way, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just um, quite busy. Busy? It's a busy season. I and know. We got some big events coming up soon and just getting ready for those. Wow. Amazing. So when I first came to Bay Area like uh, eight years ago, I just literally like searched my name and I see your like DJ I could I could events I said dude I can't be in nightlife because this guy's already <laughs> took over right so you came to Bay Area how long ago so I moved here year 2000 2000 yeah correct so it's been 19 years or so. 19 yeah. years so yeah. you look like 28 30 so I mean you're not even the woman I'm just doing this thing because you definitely look like young thank you thank you so you came like literally right after the college about that, yeah. About so that? I actually even quit college to oh. to you know continue with my um, career oh. and and the music and DJing and all. So, that. You, so I started back in Turkey. Ah, uh, you were DJ when you were in Turkey. That is correct. Which city you were in? I was in Istanbul. You're in Istanbul. I'm from Ankara. You're my first Turkish guest in Founders Connect. And that is I, amazing. I want to do the double I could. We'll see what like, we're gonna get more view for sure. So you're from Istanbul. You were doing like a yeah, uh, DJing. Can we? What are you guys naming this thing? Like you were also as a DJ. That yeah, time? I definitely. So um, pretty much right after high school, um, I started work at this radio station called Power FM. Okay. And it's very well known in Turkey I know. and based in Istanbul, but they broadcast all over the place. And so, and I took the next step and I met with lots of different DJs okay. and I became a lot of um, uh, friends with a lot of club, club owners and I But started, that was mostly in Turkey or like the mostly Europe and overseas? I, everything started in Istanbul okay. and, and then and I started to play outside of Istanbul at different mm. private events and clubs And, and you were young like like that time like oh like, like, definitely i was like 18, 18 19 18, years wow. old yeah crazy so and the the reason i'm saying and then we are having you today i mean the, i mean for me the founders it doesn't necessarily to be the tech founder that's kind of like the hype going on if you need to be founder for me the restaurant owner is also founder for sure right if Absolutely. someone is starting from scratch and just doing uh, himself or herself or with help or without help for me is a founder so you start as a dj you as a one man show because DJ for me like the people even if they have a team they're literally like one man show right yeah absolutely so you know we can talk about this like for like hours and because i saw I all the changes all the cycles and you know back in the days the DJs you know DJs were always there you know yeah. they were the entertainment point of you know clubs and bars and private events you yeah. name it but the djing became like all around the world is just like superstars we we, we can say like mainstream djing is like now is a, everybody wants to be dj exactly i, I mean, mean i want to be a dj but you're the dj no, How am i, gonna but, I be mean DJ? you know yeah because things got a little bit more accessible um yeah. you know lots of different platforms and the djing the controllers and yeah. the the whole technicality got yeah. easier and and people can have access to that easier and you know people love music and yeah. they just like to you know put it into the mixes and they and just put it on the online and see if it's the audience for it yeah and they just kind of see like they're or themselves yeah. like themselves I, I even like uh 
you know, gave some classes, you know, really? to some private people, even like some of our mutual friends. Wow. That, you know, uh, I'll discuss, I'll tell oh, that yeah. later. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll I'm, I'm going to ask you so many, like, the private question, you don't have to answer it. Yeah. But, so, the guy like you had, a, like, some um, name in the Turkey and, and came from the Bay Area. I mean, I see, like, many options. You can go to Europe, you can go to Ibiza, you can go to Mykonos. I don't know, that time was, they were, like, up and coming that time, but... What makes you to come to San Francisco? Why you didn't go to LA? Why you didn't go to Miami? Yeah, great question. So, um, in back in Istanbul, yeah. um, I always liked the the US idea because okay. I, I used to come and visit some friends mm -hmm. here in New York, Houston, San Francisco also. Okay. Yeah, I came here before I moved. Mm -hmm. And so I met this great man in Istanbul and, okay. and he also you know wanted to um, move his family to Sounds to good. US and you know where could be the best options mm. and and we had some great connections here in San Francisco and we had some friends and 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 we wanted to um, take this to another level of opening up our actually our own restaurant. Ah, I'm so not sure if you even knew about it. I know not. Piazza, yeah. right? Exactly. There yeah. you go. I did research about you. So yeah. Piazza means in, in, in Turkish uh, just like society market market and, something yeah, like that. You know, society. Yeah, just like meet the place the people are meeting. Exactly. You know, yeah. Right? So we that was our original idea mm. and we actually came and proceeded that idea. Mm. And and but why San Francisco? Because again, we had some friends here. Yeah, and we knew the environment a little bit. And how was the nightlife or like the the scene, the party scene that time in San Francisco? Because 2000 still, right after the dot com, the the crash. But I mean, even like in in between time, like people had so much money in here. I mean, still I see like. People in here like they just got bored. They say, you know what, we have all the money, all the things we need to dream about it. But after life, there's like I, it sounds like kind of still boring for them. No, no. Uh, so let me summarize that yeah, for, for you sure. because um, you know, last twenty years yeah. in San Francisco. Oh, okay. And you know, I saw the changes. So I will maybe divide into these two. Mm -hmm. you know the first decade and the second decade okay. so i will say between 2000 and 2010 okay the nightlife was really good um why it was really good because there was a community mm -hmm. there were people who liked to go out and and meet other friends and Make it, it doesn't friends. it doesn't have to be like yeah. you know late night scene you know it could be happy hours and different gatherings yeah. and networking you know. events exactly and not much not, not no much. no much really? I mean this, that networking thing the way, the tech uh, thing you know I was always defense? here but the, I'm going to come to that oh, in the I'm second okay. decade and so in all these you know great community events okay. like you didn't really like go to a place and and before meeting with other people because you went there you were going to know the people like mm. when you went to this happy hour when you went to this club when you went to this venue and you know there were just already people that you will knew and and you could hang out and you can party with it's like uh, something like post school Kind of feeling like you yeah. have like the classmate, the bodies. Yeah, you you, uh, you, yeah. you you could you could name that too. But what I was gonna say is just the nightlife scene. I think that's the biggest difference right now. Okay. That was the culture. Hmm. That culture in the community of late night scene. What I'm talking about, maybe um, like 10 p.m. to to 3 a.m. You know, like pretty much was happening Tuesday through Saturday. Wow. Yeah, and there were like, you know, house music and alternative music and different, you know, commercial places and live music venues. And in the second decade, yeah. so that community either, you know, moved out of the area, yeah. um, got older or moved out of, you know, Suburbs. The, the, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, East Bay or South Bay have kids and, you know, Marcel. It, it, it changed. 
So the, the younger generation yeah. who moved to San Francisco uh, in the second decade, and they did not take over in, mm. because they did not have that, um, you know, I don't want to say the culture, but they did not have that thinking and... and Maybe drive to just like do the uh, party is now is in the San Francisco. It's just like a nice to have. It's not a part of the life, I think. No, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, before, you know, people used to go to this place every Thursday, ah. every Friday, every Saturday. Sounds like Turkey. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, then, you know, like what you did is, you know, like, let me dress up. Yeah. Let me invite, you know, if, if you're, you know, male, like you, yeah. you, you let me invite a couple of like my girlfriends yeah. and go to this club, you know, get a table, get a bottle of service. You know, their culture changed a lot. So, and, and also how San Francisco changed real estate wise, all these individually owned clubs mm. start to get closed. And because the owners, you know, they want to make more profit on those and they are turning this, you know, buildings or condos, their lands yeah. to, you know, residents and condos. and. You know, those individually owned clubs, either they lost their lease or, you know, they weren't as profitable before. They're out of business. So we'll, we'll, exactly, we'll, we'll yeah. come back this this thing. I mean, I think we should do another show for only talking about San Francisco nightlife. Absolutely. You should write a book or you should just do the podcast or maybe you might. No, I, did, I even did the research for this. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. absolutely. Yeah, I can share that with you because, you know, I just want to understand the market and, you know. Do, do, do you know any, anybody that time, uh, back in time was like up and coming DJ right now? It turned to be like the like a rock star i mean all star like let's say dj snake was there i don't know Do you, no, uh, no, no 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 how about uh what was the guy uh the japanese guy i forgot i keep forgetting steve his, steve still aoki was exactly there? yeah oh, well yeah he was around you okay. know then he was becoming popular yeah. but you know so going you back you are the popular one well i mean definitely yeah so, like i'm not a you know, worldwide superstar like after David this, Guetta, uh, after the show, you, you, you'll, you'll be <laughs> absolutely, sure. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but you know, locally, because I've been here so much, I've been you know very active, and you know, I like to entertain. You're people. so I know you're a very humble guy, but I mean, you've been here pretty long time. Almost every weekend, even like the, during the weekdays, I know you play my at my wedding. We that just, was a pleasure. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was an amazing experience. But I need to talk with you, like I don't know, like seven, eight months advance, right? So you probably book entire year this year and probably next year too. But what also makes you do you as a personal contributor as a DJ? Now you just uh, turn to be more entertainment company. Yeah, that's why I actually want to talk. Yeah. So. Um you know, we're talking about nightlife, we're talking yeah. about my, you know, DJing and all that. But, you know, I started as a DJ mm -hmm. and, you know, even organizing these events, yeah. producing these big events, and I never left the DJing behind. So, mm. and, and, you know, given with that, I did a lot of um, private parties before. Yeah. And I still do lots of private parties. But you're doing like from like turning key means like you literally like own everything from uh, booking the places, uh, all the operation with you with your team or like what, what's like the you know when, when we say like so let's 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 do this like I could event my company okay, I could that I, I found and we do two things. Okay. Half of the company, the half side, we do lots of like nightclub type of events, okay. and you know we should talk about the yeah. themes and how I started. Yeah, with I want, definitely. And so, and the other half, mm -hmm. and I do DJ at a lot of private parties. Okay. So um, this could be weddings. Okay. Corporate events. Only cool people's weddings, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and and. You know any kind of celebration. Yeah. So and I still do provide a lot of DJ services, and I also have wonderful DJ friends in my team. Yeah. You know we we um, provide entertainment to those occasions, but we don't really plan those. Mm. You know we don't plan weddings, we don't plan corporate parties. We just provide the entertainment. And that part is mostly like uh, referral. People refer to other people, or they already know you. 
Exactly. Yeah, word of yeah, mouth, word of mouth or yeah. like um, you know finding yeah, I mean, us online yeah. and you know different planners and different you know connections. So and that one is like kind of like it's hard to predict when I like t talking a little bit like the uh, the uh, marketing perspective. I mean, you already have like already line up events, but the theme, the these like organization, the parties you own that event, right? That is correct. Yeah. So yeah, we we produce the whole thing. So, um, so when I moved here first, yeah, back in two thousand, you know, I saw San Francisco very divided into communities, and okay, and you know, San Francisco is a you know, big city, very cosmopolitan, very diverse. Is but it? Absolutely. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. A feeling for me that everybody's worked for tech and or, or non-tech. It's I don't know. For diverse, probably for like, I don't know, maybe you should a like, little bit explain for diverse. Is that the community like sounds like uh, the, the locals, foreigners? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, the locals and the foreigners, like, I mean, that's the thing about the big cities in the United yeah. States, like San Francisco, LA, New York, Miami, like, you know, very, very, you know, culturally diverse. Okay. And I mean, you know, we're from Turkey yeah. and, you know. And we, we own the, the nightlife in San Francisco. And, and pretty much. you're doing, you know, wonderful yeah. at what you do and... So many people like us, immigrant, foreigner. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, your previous interviews. Yeah. I mean, y y you know better too. Yeah. So, but what I'm gonna say is like, I, I will say like more in the entertainment. Okay. You know, aspect of it. So you know, I saw I met with some wonderful Brazilian friends and wonderful like Iranian friends and Turkish friends and Europeans, Latin Americans, like you know, locals and and different people, but they had their own groups and, mm. and and parties together. And what I want to do is bring them all together because that was my style already in terms of, you know, the music, what I do. Oh, you're already doing like a like kind of founders connect for connecting the all, all international exactly. people. Exactly. So that's wow. why, you know, when you go on my website, yeah. I put events, the best international parties yeah. in San Francisco. That's the tagline that never changed in the last 20 years. Wow. So you, you famous for, I know it, but I just want to underline for international parties. Absolutely. Yeah. And international party doesn't necessarily for the foreigner or internet. I mean, anyone who wants to join, they can come, but the theme is it international? It means like you play different type of music. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, you know, to give you a couple of examples, Please. like in February, you know, it's Brazilian carnival, right? Yeah. So we do a, you know, carnival event mm -hmm. here, the clubbing side of it, like with the DJs, plus we bring samba dancers, drummers. Okay. So not only our Brazilian friends like it, but also you like it. I For like sure. it. You know, like everyone likes Anyone it. Anyone who is interested in that culture, and the or good the music, music exactly. and that makes that like seasonality. I'm like still want to understand as a business wise because almost every month is something happening on outside of the U.S. or also inside of the U.S. So you literally like cherry picking whatever the events you want to do. Okay, February you said the carnival. Exactly. So you know. We do about like 25 events a year. I'm not going to okay. go one by yeah. one, but like we do white party. Like yeah. everyone come in all in That's white. That's one of the signature party, right? Exactly, yeah. So we've been doing it for years and, you know, Persian year and, mm. and you know, Halloween, which, yeah. you know, we can talk about later. Sure. So which became a big I want to I want to come at Halloween one. I've been I telling love my, you to see. I've been telling my wife all the time. I mean, we just literally, you know, you... Made us. You got us to marry it, pretty much. And you played our, our the, the wedding, so we were that married. That was a like, fun one. That man. was a fun one, yeah. thanks to you. No, thank you. So I mean, look, we got married a little bit over a year. She said, you know, we missed it last year. We were in honeymoon, but this year she actually told me. Then that was when we were chatting. I said, why don't I invite the I could, the the founders connect. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. So so you're saying that this international party is bringing the people, and then for the um, this type of the theme. Now is uh, Halloween is coming up. Yeah, even yeah. like um, let me show you. So, Please. like you know, um, this is um, you know our, one of our flyers. So right. we're we're organizing two events 
and it's going to be Halloween International Ball uh, Volume One. Yeah. So see, it, it's also international. Yeah. So you know, we we bring that. Mm. You know, uh, this is like do we sing pretty well? All right. Yeah. So uh, what we do is thirty first usually fall um, on a weekday, and okay. we organize these Halloween parties. We do. A weekend before, mm -hmm. so Friday will be at the W. Okay, and with three different rooms and wow. multiple so every, DJs. Every room has a different uh, like uh, theme too. That is correct. So each every room will have different kind. Are of Are you music. playing this this event? Absolutely. Oh, yes. cool. So I'll be in the main oh, room. Oh yeah, there you. Are. I saw that. I yeah. said I could Turkey. Uh, oh, the Turkey is another guy, right? Exactly. Yes. Cool. Nice. So, but th like this is like. Also, the biggest one, I think, as far as I know, or yeah. Which so, one? Um, so Saturday will be at the West in San Francisco. Okay, let's show um, this one too. Right on Union Square. This yeah. is actually bigger. Oh, than Friday. Is the first one. Correct. Twenty uh, six is the second one. This is the right. biggest one. Yeah, it's happening the West in. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And so similar idea, um, but more rooms, four rooms, ten DJs. Wow. Yeah, each every room will have different kind of music. You know, we got the Euro Top Forty. How long you've been doing this, doing this this the Halloween? Uh, I know that when even you search Halloween in Google, you just came out. <laughs> You're like you have pretty good SEO. Yeah. So like it's almost like like last ten years you've been doing this. Halloween? Oh no, like More almost enough? twenty. Yeah. Wow. So since in, when you came? Yeah, I mean, you know, I will say um, at least sixteen, seventeen years. Wow. So it became. You know, one of our signature events, yeah. and 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 also, you know, what our what our goal is at our events, yeah. or even my you know private part of DJing. Obviously, you know, you know, being professional, being organized, being everything in a way that how people want. But the the main goal we have, we want people to have fun. Amazing. So because I want to like uh, point one thing. So people have, are having fun, but how about you? Because as a founder, I always say, you know what? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint, right? And you've been doing like, I mean, when I met the people, they've been doing business more than five years. I feel like, you know what? You're the man because why? I mean, running a company more than a couple of years is so tough. And you've been doing like almost like 19, 20 years. So how about you? Are you having fun? Well, I certainly do. I mean, okay. um, so this is a lot of work. Okay, I mean, you I know, know, people think like you know, they just, just show up yeah. and, you know, they see the whole production, they have a good time, but this doesn't happen overnight, right? I so know. this has, you know, months of work and years of like background and all that. But for me, the, to answer your question, of course, because I'm always happy and glad and blessed to be part of people's happy days and happy times you know like so, um, you like you can even name to you like the happy happy guy because you always like around the people's happy occasion right? exactly yeah so, so your life is always every day is a party for you yeah i mean you know weddings and people are having fun yeah. so much love in the air you if know, the music you know. is happy around means like it's so hard to be the set right it's, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, with my personality, with yeah. my flexibility, you know, how I connect with people, yep. you know, how, you know, I read their energy, how I read the vibes and, and the moments and yep. momentums and, you know, it just makes a huge difference. And, you know, it's just one so of the what, talents that God gave me. Yeah, know, but so. what, 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 what do you do for keeping up your energy? Like, I mean, you probably, sound, everybody probably say the same thing in my work. Because it's not a work for me as a play. I feel it literally is for you as a play. You're playing, sure. you, you're making the music. But also for like, uh, like I mean, during the day, I don't think so So much part is going on. Maybe private events. But what are you doing today? I, I know you're doing workout and you're also married, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kids. Yeah. So can you tell a little bit? I know you're a private person. You don't want to maybe share too much, but high level. So, I mean, because it's the uh, maybe urban legend. I mean, being DJ, it sounds like it brings all the fame, the money, the girls, drinks, you know what sure, I mean? Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, was... I want to, because I never chat in DJ in my life like this level. Yeah. I mean, can you share a little bit about that part too? Yeah, most definitely. So, I've been 
and happily uh, greatly married for a long time and, okay. and we have wonderful kids and you know during the week you know I definitely um, do lots of like office work you know preparations mm. and connections and planning and production details and because in others think my mentality and yeah. what I like being responsive Mm. and quickly I, I, I definitely see that and, and, and in, you know and I recommend this you know all new you know on the, upcoming entrepreneurs and you know different you know young generation or even older like I mean the people who are, who are owning their business I always tell you there's nobody forcing you to do this thing yeah. if you want to do it you do a better way and you're saying one of the like the advice be responsive exactly be responsive and you know just get back to them I mean when I see a text when I see an email yeah you know I like to respond to that right away because because I don't have to think about it twice got it or three times yeah you know some people's emails just sit there and sit that, there. that give me like the anxiety because I have, a, I have also same thing zero inbox policy yeah whenever I see something I try to be reply and I do it as fast as I can I think this is a little bit also like I think Turkish thing. I don't know. Having having like some um, someone as a guest, you really like try to do the best. Absolutely, right? yeah, exactly. I mean, so, we have a hospitality. Like, yeah, Turkey is kind of popular. And for especially, us, right? you know, hospitality is my business, right? Yeah, like, you're you know, in I, I just have business. to be front of people and respond yeah. to them. I mean, it, you know, not every email has to be like super positive, right? Like yeah. People either book you, not book you, yeah, or sure. be with you, ask you question. Anything can be happen, but. Going back to your question, yeah. um, you know, during the week, you know, I do lots of office work and prepare and, and, you know, get ready for usually Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, you know, where, where I work. But overall, besides that, yeah. I really like um, sports. Mm. And I always did in my life. And, and you, I mean, definitely we can see from here, you definitely look like pretty good shape. Thank but, you. So sports in the one of the biggest part of your life exactly yeah I you know I I like playing sports I like um, working out I like exercise yeah. and and I like to watch sports mm. and I try not to too much but um, you know I, I know you're a Warriors fan big big, big, big Warriors fan big Besiktas fan oh Besiktas yeah okay. so like you know I still have the subscription and no way. You know, like every weekend in the mornings wow you know, like, where do you live in do you live in the city uh, we live in Oakland Oakland cool yeah so but I have one question for you. This is like always like kind of like when you do the service business and the hospitality business, it's hard to scale, right? I mean, now you're like you have international parties going on in San Francisco. Don't you have any plan back in time and say, you know what? I'll do these events, but also I want to make the music. Yeah, please have water. No, thank you. No. <laughs> so go ahead. And why don't you like think that, you know what? I should have a, a single. I should put it in Spotify. I should maybe like... Uh, hire more people or just go different cities do the same events in Miami Ibiza Mykonos Istanbul why didn't you do that or do or do, do you no do no that? no um, I definitely thought about it so okay. um, you know there are different different aspects of this business yeah um, you know what we talk about until now yeah like doing private DJing mm -hmm. private events private events there are DJs just do that yeah they, ah. have, they have no idea about, I mean, they have an idea, but they, they don't do the other side. Got it. You know, there are DJs or producers and production managers, they just do nightlife, festivals, mm -hmm. you, know, yeah. the, you know, big DJ talents. And, you know, if you put them on a, you know, wedding deck and, yeah. and on a corporate party, they wouldn't do well. So, you know, again, I'm blessed and with my, um, you know, talent yeah. and, and with my background, you know, I'm glad... That also, I your hard work, both. your hard work. I mean, we should have been, in the last twenty years. You can learn what you're good, what you are not good, or what you like to do it more, right? Exactly. Just like more like try and error. So, these two, but anything is. Yeah. yeah so I was gonna. Yeah. The, the, your question is, you know, I, I thought about this because, you know, about maybe 12, 14 years ago, I okay. said, you know what? Let me stop things. Let me put them aside. Mm -hmm. Let me focus on producing music mm. you know doing a lot of production yeah because once you like you mentioned once you produce the music once you put your um 
work into this, then you know you put the single out. You know yeah. you become more you know visible visible in terms of whatever the, there was yeah, no yeah. Spotify, nothing <laughs> like that know, by then. But you know then you're more visible and then you're more known and then you know you can take it to different level then you can work with the different agencies you can go out you know to different cities worldwide tours you know whatever play in vegas in like any best nightclubs and everything exactly yeah. so i definitely talk about that and i definitely you know talk of investing my you know time and energy into that but i decided you know what I'm really good at what I'm doing mm. and you know I like the Bay Area a lot and you know like I think it's just great to stay local focus locally yeah and continue what I'm doing and you know organize our events think and, global uh, do local you that's what you do pretty much international parties right exactly and but locally locally yeah. and the Bay Area is a great I mean and the people in Bay Area right I mean we can say all the tech companies the reason I'm here for sure that one and also the people I do work I always say you know I'm blessed because the people the app companies their founders CEO or like a, a C-level people they're the like smartest people exactly. they're the nicest people yeah. overall and you also probably did a lot of private parties those top people oh absolutely I mean absolutely. I don't know can you name it some of them or just like high level you can say you probably play a lot of billionaires parties yeah you know I honestly don't want to drop any yeah, names here right now sure. but um, you know over the years like because you know being active being out there and you know meeting a lot of people um, you know I saw people a lot of people starting from scratch and now they're really at top and why didn't you right? why didn't uh, instead of charging them uh, didn't get a stock for them <laughs> <laughs> why people turn to be good good investment right i mean you probably see some people in the early days i mean i, I met you five years ago uh, one of our investors the party and i said dj i could because i know you already but i never had a chance to sure. attend your party but then I mean that that event. I know one guy from that event. He he sold his company over two billion dollars. Oh my god! Yeah, wow. and you, I mean, he was at your party. No, no, no. I became you know I I, I came across to lots of great things. But yeah. oh, but you know you know your business better. You're 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 yeah. really amazing at what you do in the tech business. But you know I saw also lots of people fail too. For sure. You know like not everybody makes it. Right? I mean so, like, I was, like we 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 have the numbers. Uh, almost 95% of the companies they don't even see their third year. Wow. So yeah, and mm -hmm. then the companies who are going to IPO, they're like, the reason they call them unicorn because it's so rare, even if they raise A, B, C, D round. But I mean, yeah, it, it's for you, you build also a lot of relationship, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, meeting this, the wonderful people, yeah. um, you know, remembering the uniqueness of iCoot, the yeah, name, yeah, you know, for, like, know. like, you know, like when you, when you communicate with people first, like, how do you, how how do you pronounce this? Yeah. Like, where is this from? Right? Yeah. Like, I mean, iCoot is a very well known Turkish name in Turkey, but yeah. you know, you wouldn't really tell like, I mean, what kind of thanks, name is Thanks it, to you, know? you, everybody know I'm Turkish. <laughs> I've been trying to play, I'm a Japanese, some like oh Hispanic, God, yeah. but when, when I say my name is iCoot, they say you're Turkish. I say, come no, on. No, even man. even like trust me, like when I communicate with you, <laughs> like you know, typing my own name, like I know. Oh, I, I I I haven't meeting with Iku today. Like yeah, just, just, it's crazy. Just, yeah, right? it Not is, so yeah. many Iku's around. No. So I mean, like if you just like a uh, little bit, like uh, we talk a lot of many things. But is there anything you want to share? Something you uh, you feel you feeling that especially the future of the, your business and the entertainment scene. And then I was going to talk to you, Spotify and Apple Music. Like, what are you seeing right now? Because this is, this is like yesterday when I was doing a little bit of research about you. Spotify, the reason they started 2004, and Bowie, he said 2001, uh, music going to be turned to be like a water and electricity in the future. It means like that will be one of the need. I think one yeah. of the greatest thing ever did happen. I mean... You know, you know that you know that too. Like when iTunes, yeah, um, came around, and mm -hmm. when they start to sell songs for ninety nine cents, <laughs> and 
you know, that was a big thing. Yep. That was a big thing. And, you know, people were buying, they were building their libraries and, you know, people were spending money. But, you know, but in the meantime, the YouTube came around yep. and, you know, people start to listen to those songs and on YouTube and, you know, it, it was a different feeling. But when the streaming started, mm -hmm. um, I think it's fantastic. I mean... I honestly don't know the the background of it and and how the artists are happy, uh, how yeah. how their you know the relationship with the exactly yeah. you know I I don't know their uh, background work and all that, but for consumer wise, um, I, I think it's wonderful. I, I mean, mean a distribution problem literally so, and then their algorithm is actually like I mean, today I, when I was driving from the San Mateo to city, I mean I have a daily drive. Spotify is doing that. Spotify, by the way, is not our, our sponsor. I'm just like talking about Spotify. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> no, but that's that's, that's yeah. really the, I, the best platform. I, I, I love Spotify, yeah. and we put also podcasts of the Founders Connect. Oh, you do. Okay. You'll be also on Spotify. That sounds and, good. And then um, Daily Drive, they already know what kind of music I do like, and it, Discovery was the biggest problem because I've been keep used to be keep listening to the same song over and over. Right now, I'm finding new artists. And those are the people like, I mean, I never heard it. Yesterday, I, I mean, no, last Sunday, we went to the concert. That was a great group from uh, Amsterdam, but they're doing the Turkish music. No, no, I, I, yeah. saw, I, saw, I saw your story. Yeah. That was awesome. And, yeah. and I just found them through like Spotify. Oh, wow. Okay. And we went there, like almost 95% of the people non-Turkish. Do you believe that? So that's I mean, awesome. Crazy. Like yeah. the people from the Netherlands, Amsterdam, they're playing the music in San Francisco. Audience is 95% is the American. And, and out of like six people in group members, only two of them Turkish. Wow. This is like 2019. That's, that's like literally in your international parties. And I feel like that's exactly, the reason. Yeah. I mean, these people that should need to go to these uh, Halloween parties. So this is happening next week. Yeah, so I mean, I highly about, encourage yeah. you to join us. Okay, you know, with your, and also, with your lady. and our audience, I mean, we have a pretty good, uh, yeah, li people are following us in San Francisco. This is unfortunately only going to happen in San Francisco. It's a, the beat of the, uh, you are in the San Francisco. Yes. Yeah, 25th and 26th. And where are they going to uh, get the ticket? iQuitEvents.com? That is correct. Yeah. So, you know, the, the information about our upcoming events and, you know, more background information about my DJing. I'll, I'll put in everything on description. Yeah. iQuitEvents.com is the best source. Um, okay. Obviously, we're all over the social media, but, know. Um, you know, iQuitEvents.com is great for tickets and, you know, this is like really, really wonderful event. That it's, will be the best Halloween party, can we say? Of course, ever. <laughs> uh, every year it's getting every, better. Every, every yeah. year they're getting better. Yeah, right? all, all costumes, super colorful, um, you know, great production. And I know. Highly, highly recommend. So you've been you working this thing like pretty much when the party, Halloween party is over this year, you when you start working oh, next year, right? We actually already started working next year, yeah. 2020, <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Yeah, like Crazy. I mean, and, and also New Year's Eve too, like, Wow. That, that these these events take um, you know some time to prepare. I know. And especially booking the venue and you know securing the talents and you know. It's, it's a, you're saying it's a lot of hard work for uh, for this uh, the project and then people they just only showing up, but it's good. I mean, we're so glad we we have you in San Francisco. Not just only your names I could <laughs> have <laughs> you, but also DJ I could. Without you, what are we going to do? Thank you. I mean, you know, trust me, like, I'm not saying this, you know, we're, we're having, like, a super friendly good yeah. conversation here, but I am actually receiving, I received tons of emails um, from different people, like, mm -hmm. in L.A., San Diego, I know. Um, Houston, and New York, and because some of these people and our friends, or mm. the industry-wise, yeah. they move to those cities, For sure. and they don't have anything like this. I they know. say like, hey, do you know any party like this or do you know any promoters? You know, no, I think overall, all together, we created something very unique and, and well, makes a good it sense. might be interesting. I mean, we can end it, this thing here where we can chat it. No problem. We'll, we'll, let's well, see whatever it. you like. Uh, yeah, it's your I, show. I, I have a time for okay. sure. If you have a time. I mean, maybe like people like, you know, we go in Vegas for go to all those events. Why don't the people come to San Francisco attend the iCoots events? 
Well, let that's, me... that might be the interesting thing because for the future wise, I mean, if you, if you, you have a great music, I know great, all the um, events happening. And I mean, people from San Diego, LA, or even like overseas. I mean, last year, I don't know how many people come to San Francisco, but I think over 10 million people. I might be wrong, but no, no, no absolutely. Like, like, I mean, a lot of people yeah. come, um, you know, especially for Halloween, what we have is super unique. And, yeah. And whoever has knowledge about it, whoever is into Halloween, and I didn't, be, I I've been only a couple of times in Halloween parties. Exactly. So, so whoever is into it, because mm. you know a lot of people like it, yeah. and and but some people are you know not into it, right? So whoever likes to dress up and yeah. go out and party and prepare for it, you know, spend some energy, but at the end have a blast. You know, whoever has the knowledge for this, they'll come. But. Um, in terms of you know the Vegas, yeah, you know we can talk about that a little bit too because yeah, I please. think you know, that, that's also you know part of my um, you know thinking and strategy mm. too. So because currently, yeah. currently including Steve, David yeah. Guetta, um, Tiesto, Calvin Harris, and all these guys, they don't come to San Francisco anymore. Do you know why? I don't know why. Because because you are here on <laughs> <laughs> because That's because right. I abandoned the place. Okay, yeah. no one can enter. Yeah. The Turkish thing here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like Turkish. No, no, thing. they used to come, but okay. um, so that's also like a very big twist mm. and a break in the industry. So Vegas and the festivals, they really took over the local markets not only san ah. francisco so because calvin, calvin harris imagine yeah. is an example he has residency every friday ah. in vegas well he gonna do what i mean he can't even literally live. yeah i mean you know any of these venues in san francisco or promoters can match what you know they can make out there yeah and and they love to be there amazing clubs yeah, you know for sure. pack house and it doesn't even have to be a Friday. Sometimes yeah, on a Monday, Tuesday, for right? For sure. And in summertime, lots of Ibiza. Yeah. So Ibiza, Vegas, and the festivals really took over the big names. So they're like dedicate their time, and every Friday, Saturday, what you, you have no chance to be there unless you're like Avicii or exactly. like, yeah, someone like just like uh, turning to be the big name. Maybe you have a chance. Yeah, I mean, but you know, otherwise. You know, locally again. Uh, mm. Let's talk about only San Francisco okay, because San Francisco. you know I, I don't have so much knowledge about you know other big cities, but you know we don't see those names anymore in San Francisco. You know, not only the venues are gone. Mm. You know, there was an amazing place. Our friends own a big club called Ruby Sky. Okay, yeah. You know, they, they shut it down, right? Exactly. I mean, change of hands, and they're mm. doing lots more concerts now. But you know, they used to host all these great names. Yeah. They used to come and perform and people line up, bought tickets. But now, if you want to see these top 10 guys, you have to go to Vegas. You Crazy. have to. Oh. You know, I, mean, I thought it's you know, just because people are going, they, they, the reason they're just doing the performance, but like vice versa, but it's interesting. So, uh, but you're in San Francisco. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, like, you're saying but obviously more, Vegas, yeah. you know, for us, it's not too far. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I love going to Vegas yeah, too. You know, it's it's, yeah. it's a you know great concept. Like you yeah. know, once a year, you know, two three nights, yeah. group of friends, and you know, you can go and party and yeah. enjoy your life, and you know, it's it's just great. You know, I think it's 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 great to have you know close to us. But you know, overall, um, you know, what they created over there in the last ten years, yeah. um, these residencies, this budget they have, you know, none of the local clubbing scene can compete with i mean imagine if calvin harris comes here you and i we would yeah, want to go sure. yeah yeah why not like why not? he's right already here. here yeah yeah so i mean i would love to go but you know uh, it just doesn't happen anymore interesting so yeah. wow i mean we definitely should do one more show for you about talking about the nightlife and the future of the music and all uh cool stuff but thank you so much man i no, know absolutely. You're, you're so busy and next week is a big week for you exactly. and we, i mean i try to my best i think this time no hopefully, i, I want to see you guys yeah, okay work on your costume oh, okay i don't I know i want to see you uh, this is my costume <laughs> i can come like a father's connect like the outfit just and, don't drop your name i could at the uh, door <laughs> i know i will i will, I will say oh you're the dj vip oh, that's yeah. true so thank you so much guys uh we were with the um, dj i could 
and the founder and CEO of the iCode event. That was amazing. That was an amazing talk. I mean, Pleasure I, to I, be here. I, Thank I, you so I, much for having me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I enjoy a lot. If you guys um, enjoyed this channel, please like our uh, the video and subscribe our channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.